Hey everyone, this is Rex and Chloe coming to you with part two of our IS Boxer Guide. Today we're going to be going over with a simple setup on how to switch between your characters with just being able to hit one key so you can know exactly what character you're going to go to without having to alt tab. And the main part of the video is also going to be going over VX viewers and sources so you can see important information like who your character or what mob your characters are targeting and if they are currently casting a spell. And also I'll be going over social hotkeys in game that you can cast multiple spells with one push of a button. If you like the video, I hope you'll like and subscribe. It'll help both me and Chloe out greatly. And I hope you have a great day. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to set up the one key hotkey to be able to switch to any of your characters as you can see i am here on the is boxer toolkit you would need to go to the top left and choose your character set so just like here where i have it as zegany then you click on each of the numbers for the character no she is my shadow knight and so it says here the hockey to switch to this character, you just click on the left arrow. It will ask you to press a key combination. In my case, I'm going to hit the up arrow on my keyboard. That's going to be the key bind to switch to my Shadow Knight. And then, for instance, my Enchanter Doleorn, I will do the same thing, except I'm going to hit the left arrow and i'm going to keep doing this for the other six and then i will show you the result in everquest itself in just a moment as you can see i am now in everquest i have my six characters loaded up using is boxer i already saved and exported all my changes for the hockey to is boxer so as you can see i am simply just going to be pushing one key, I am currently on my Shadow Knight, so I'm going to go to my Enchanter by hitting the left arrow, and it does that automatically. I'll hit the right arrow, go to my Cleric, my down arrow will take me to my Druid, and then just going back up to the top, you can see I'm back on my Shadow Knight. I have my Mage here set to the numpad period or delete key, and I have my Bard set to the numpad plus key that way i can instantly switch to any character with the push of one button and now i'm going to show you how to set up just a basic social hotkey that way you can do several spells or abilities or commands all at once just by pushing one button repeatedly or sometimes just once like in the case of my incoming and then my damage hotkeys are all, I have to hit the key again and again to trigger it. I know a lot of people do multi-binding. That's where you change the cast key press here to the same thing for any key. And while that would work, I find it a little bit clumsy for all six characters, especially since I can't technically control what spell is going to go up next. So what I do is I make a social hockey, like on my enchanter here, I have one that's for Tash and Slow. You can see at the very beginning I have a slash pause 5, then a comma space slash assist Noshi. That will have my enchanter assist my Shadow Knight so that way he can get the mob on target. Then the next line is slash pet attack. Uh, that is there regardless if I'm charming or if I'm using my summon pet. And then on line 3, I have slash pause 20, comma, space slash cast 6, which for me is always my Tash spell. So then here, it's on line 4, it's slash pause 20, slash alt activate 753. And that is the AA slow, so my casters will all have a similar of hockey on the number one hockey slot right now it's named spam one i'll probably come up with something more original later but for right now that's what it's called and specifically in my enchanter it is going to be a little bit different because line one is taken up with a slash pause five and the comma space slash assist noshi once again just because he may have to do some 
mezzing or something else for crowd control. I want to be able to have him be able to go from that to back to assisting the Shadow Knight Noshi and then go through the damage routine. So as you can see, the rest of the lines, I just have them as slash cast 7, which is a damage over time spell. Then the next line is slash cast 1, which is a nuke, my best nuke that I currently have. Then the fourth line is slash cast 2, which is the second best nuke that I have. And then the last line is slash cast 3, which is the mind twist. And that will do a damage over time plus a mana recourse for the enchanter. Now, obviously, my Shadow Knight's incoming and spam keys are going to be different. For instance, for my Shadow Knight's incoming, I have his first line. Since he's usually also the pooler, I don't have to worry too much about him being able to target the mob, he'll already have it targeted when I have. So his first line here is going to be slash pet attack. Because uh, I always have pets for my Shadow Knight, my Enchanter, and my Mage, and sometimes my Druid too. But the first line will be always for my Shadow Knight's pet to attack. Then on line 2 it's slash pals 20, comma, space slash cast 2 which is my terror spell, the best one I have at the time. Then line 3 is slash pals 25, comma, space slash cast 1, which is my charge for power, or whatever for power spell I have. It gives me a hate and also gives me increased armor class. Then the line 4 is slash pals 20, comma, space slash cast 3, which right now is Torrent of Hate, but that will go to the other spells when I get to a higher level that do a better job of transferring the attack and AC to my group. And the last line is slash alt activate 826, which is the AA snare that Shadow Knights get, the engulfing darkness. So that is their incoming key that I have. And then on my spam key for my Shadow Knight, I have him as slash cast 7. Cast 7 is Dire Implication, or the best one that I have at the time. Then line 2 is slash cast 8, which is the second best touch spell. And then... Number 9 is Malarian Skin, Tank Better. Then line 4 is slash disc, base withstand, that is a melee disc, withstand is, which will absorb damage from the next two melee or spell attacks that strike you. And then after that I have slash alt activate 825, which is vicious bite of chaos, the AA, so that gives my group back some health and mana. I am going to be doing auto grant on Noshi. Uh, the rest of my group can't do it because they are silver accounts. Uh, but I am going to be doing it on Noshi. But if I will be going over the important AA for like swarming when I get to that point in the videos. Uh, just that way you know what AA you need to prioritize. And it's just since these are heroic characters and I want to be able to get to the important videos quicker i'm just going to use the the next part of the video is where i'm going to show you how to do video fx viewers and sources so that way you can be able to see all the important information like where your characters are targeting and if they're casting a spell right from one screen so you can see it on your shadow knight but you have to set it up on your other characters first so right now i'm on my enchanter so the viewer is going to be for the Shadow Knight or whatever your main one that you want to be able to see all the other characters' information from. The others are going to be strictly video FX sources. So, in this case, I'm going to be naming this Doleorn target. And then you click the add button. And it brings up this green screen here that you can use to target and move everything to where you want it to be. So the green screen is what we'll be showing on the viewer. 
and it just and it will take a little bit of practice to get this part down to where it the way you like it what i do is i typically will have the box where i can see whatever i'm targeting and then just click close you will have to x out i always then save as auto and so then that will be saved and then after that i go through and make another one called Doleorn Bells. And then just do the same thing where I add it. And in this particular case, I am going to be having the screen showing the first three spells in my spell bar. Just that way I can see when he is casting. So then I do the same thing here. I click close, X out of that box, and then choose auto for the effect set and click save as so after you can set that up you then go back to your main character in this case noshi and then you go to the same window what do you up video fx except now this time instead of source you choose viewer then you choose one here that you want you click add and then you can choose where you want it to be and then you choose the next one, Dolly Orange Spills, click Add, and then you simply place them on the screen where you would want them to be. And then you can see that when you then close the GUI, you can see the target. So if I were to go back and change Dolly Orange's target, and then switch back to Shadow Knight and see that his target there has changed. And then you just do the very same thing with all the characters. And once you are finished setting up all the FX viewers, then this is what it looks like on screen. I have my Enchanter, Cleric, Druid, Mage, and Bard. This is who they're targeting, and this is the first three spell or song gems. Thank you for watching, me and Chloe hope you enjoyed the video, and again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below, it would greatly help us, and I hope you have a great day.